Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Carl and today we will be doing a review of inline fabrication products. Let's get to it. It would make a huge difference to us at K2 Defense and our algorithm in YouTube if you would take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and turn on your notification bell. It is becoming increasingly more difficult to create content that YouTube allows. This is content that we produce on this channel. Let's show YouTube that this content is important by way of increasing the subscription rate. So thank you if you have already subscribed to the channel and welcome to those who will become new members today. Thank you. This video is long overdue. I get many questions about all of the components that I have from inline fabrication. Starting off, we'll be talking about the Ultramount. The Ultramount is a solid 316 inch steel. It has an accessible lower tray, lift suppress up nine and three quarters inch. That way it gets the shell holder closer to your eyes. The dimensions are 12 inch wide, 11 and a half inches deep, and nine and three quarters inch tall. If the ultra mount is too tall for you, they do have a seven and a half inch and four inch available. Next, we'll talk about the improved primer catch. That's located right here. It replaces the factory primer catch. There's nothing necessarily wrong with the factory primer catch. However, from time to time, you may have one that shoots out the side or out the bottom. This primer catch rides against the rim and may need some adjustment on the back side. I had to do a little shaving myself to make it fit. Just be careful not to overshave if need be. This catches the primers and sends them down a hose to the trash or some sort of container for collection. So they're not all over your floor. The case ejector system. In my videos, I may refer to it as the shell kicker. The system ejects your cases for you. This cuts down on the amount of times your hands go to the shell holder and reduces fatigue, including cuts down significant time. This setup came with a base plate located right here, ejection spring system and assembly, the discharge ramp and two bins, the ergonomic style roller handle. This keeps your body upright and reduces leaning or moving your knee away from the handle. It gives a four inch relief over the stock lever it has a bend near the bottom to align the lever with the pressed linkages to reduce twisting and increase leveraging. The universal double component tray system mounts on the rear of the ultra mount system, flush mount, QC base, or simply to the bench if you're not using the mounting system. It swings away when not in use. You can see that I've done this in some of my vi other videos. It includes hardware to mount to the ultra mount. You must choose what color of bins you want. And this also doubles your capacity of your shells or your projectiles. The bin barriers are a nice addition as well. These increase the capacity of your bins. You can see if I take it out that you would have shells or projectiles falling all over the place. These fit the inline fabrication bins. You can choose the type that have the logo or no logo. I don't think I had that option when I ordered mine. I'll have to reach out to Dan and have them send me the ones that have the logos. The standard LED shell plate lighting kit. You can't really see it because of the lighting here, but I'll try and get some different views so you can get a better idea of what it, how it lights up and how well it works. This is for use in any O-frame press, also for turret presses. 
The suggestion is, is if you have four inches of available space to install it on your press, you're good to go. This has been a life changer for me, the older I get, as it's harder to see things. In closing, all of these items have been very popular to my fan base. The case ejector system is probably the most popular requested item from my viewers. All of these components are quality made and meant to last a long time. I have yet to break or have fault with any of these items. Since these components are made for multiple manufacturers of presses, I will include a link to inline fabrication website as well as contact information to Dan and his crew. If you have any additional questions about any of these products, please drop a comment below and I'll be happy to answer them. I hope you found this video helpful. Please make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this video. You can also follow me on Rumble at K2Defense. See you next time.